Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this DreamBot L10S Ultra Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Okay, so this robot vacuum cleaner will mop and vacuum at the same time. Now here's the base station. We're gonna add our clean water. So you add your clean water to the clean water tank. It's gonna wash the mop pads after it's done and put the dirty water in the dirty water tank. So we're gonna put this, throw that away sometimes. But there's also a solution tank. So you're gonna put the solution tank in and it mixes the solution with the water to give you the proper amount inside the robot. I like that we have controls right here on the base station. Here's the actual robot. It does have a camera on it and it does have like avoidance. So we're gonna see if it'll avoid a fake mess from a dog. So we can undock it by pressing this undock button. Leaving the base station. So I wanna show you down here, that's where it washes the mop pads. And then it's gonna suck the water out of there. It also recharges it and fills up the solution tank inside here and empties out the dust inside it. Now again, here's the actual robot. There's the chamber. When it vacuums your house, it's gonna put everything in that chamber. And at the end of the job, it's gonna suck everything out of it right through that area right there. It fills up the, the mopping solution tank right there. Let's flip it over. Now it does have mopping pads. These come off really easy. Now the base station doesn't, doesn't take these on and off. It leaves them on all the time. You can take them on and off very easy Mop though. It does wash them and dry them with hot air. Now once in a while you are gonna have to replace them and you can put these in the washing machine if you want to too. But it does put solution down right mop here. Out of these little holes right here, it's gonna spray solution down onto the mop pad, get it wet so to mop your floor. Mop installed. There we've got the roller and a brush does have LiDAR technology for mapping your house. It does have the, the cameras, and it does have the bumper technology. If it bumps into something, it'll turn the other way. So it's got a really nice app. Here's the app. You're gonna set it up. It maps your house. You can go in and change all kinds of different settings. You can add no-go zones, give each room a name. That's very important for the no-go zones and all that. We can do different clean modes. We can do vacuuming mopping or vac and mop at the same time we got different levels of suction different levels of wetness then you can go in here and you can create a schedule look at the cleaning history it shows you exactly where it cleaned it shows you where the obstruct were like say if there was something in the way you can change the carpet settings so it auto detects carpet and we got different settings for the mop there's about three ways you can start this to cleaning. You can press the middle button, which is the clean button. You can press, this is if you wanna clean the entire house, mop and vacuum. That's if you wanna turn the, the dryer on and off. Mop pad drying complete. Or we can simply go in the app, tell it to clean everywhere, or we can do room cleaning, select the room you wanna clean and it'll clean it, or do a zone. It kinda of gives you a little area. You can move that around on the map. Pretty neat. I'm gonna do a room cleaning with two passes and we're gonna hit start. Start selected room cleaning. The first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna, it's gonna clean the mop pads before it starts. We're gonna, we've got kind of a mess here on this hardwood floor. We got some crumbs over here. We got the dog track, tracked in some mud prints. We got some crumbs on the carpet. We also have an iPhone cable. Then we also here have this fake mess. We're gonna see if it avoids it. Now this takes about two minutes. It's gonna put some water on the mop pads, get them all nice and ready to go. And then it sucks the water up into the dirty water tank. After it cleans the mop pads, then it's gonna start mopping. Okay, so it's done cleaning the mop pads. It's gonna go around the entire perimeter of the room first. There, it lowered the mop pads and now it's gonna clean the, around the perimeter and then go around the inside. Okay, so it's going around the corners of the house. Here, you know, when it's mopping, and vacuuming on linoleum or hardwood floors, it's only about 68. It does ramp up the suction when it senses carpet. Okay, there it's mopping. Now it's going back and forth. There's some of the debris. Not too bad. It did leave a little bit behind, but it should good get it on the second pass. That was dried on mud. That's why I got it on two passes. Now 
And I guess I was hoping it would do a little bit better on that dry down mud, but we'll see when it does the second pass. And again, when it senses carpet, it will raise those. Now, it didn't sense that iPhone cable too much. And it only raises the pad seven millimeters. Now, as far as vacuuming, you know, it almost got everything. That was a pretty tall order, but I think it did a pretty good job. Now on the amp, I got a live view of where it's at and the white part is everything that it's cleaned so far. So you can see that it's over there. That's pretty neat. I like the live view as it's cleaning. Okay, so it's going back and forth. We got some more crumbs. It holds a pretty tight pattern as far as cleaning, going back and forth. Yep, it's doing a pretty good job with those crumbs. And it's getting closer. We're gonna see if it avoids it. I think it sees it. Ooh, it got pretty close, but I think it's gonna avoid it. Yep, it's going to avoid it. It says, nope, I'm not going around it. Yep, and it's continued to go around it. it. Gets pretty close, but it does go around. Whoa, fail. Boy, it was so close. Man, it did such a good job up to that point. Here's the funny thing is, so it's still vacuuming. It's not done yet, but it, there, it, um, click on that. It says pet feces, yep, and it takes a picture. There's me down there videotaping it. So it saw it, it just, it went around it 90% of the time, but then it didn't. Okay, I interrupted it. I'm gonna do a zone. I like that feature that I, I paused it, and then I can do a different, I can have it go do something else. So let's go do, I want maximum, yeah. Let's have it do two passes. Dark zone and the reason I did that is because, yeah, those paw prints did not come up on the first pass, but I really want to give this a try and try it as a spot. And so I told it, I gave, I said, spot clean this area right here. And I, I drugged the map and made a little spot for this area. Okay, so it's starting that spot clean right in that area. And I've got it doing two passes. I really want to see it do those dog prints. Nope, it's just not gonna get that. So let's pause it. Pause. Let's see. You know, the mop pads are pretty wet. I thought it should, it's starting to get it. Let's. Resume cleaning. All right, yeah, I think it, the second time it should get it. They're being pretty stubborn. Okay, so it went this way the first time now it's going to go back and forth so it does change direction as far as which way it goes boy it just that's a pretty tough stain well nope, that's a pretty tough stain i think it's going to get some of the others So in the end, it got about 50%, maybe 75% of the actual mud. 
off the floor. That was a pretty tough mud stain. It's kind of a clay mud, so. Okay, so it's done mopping. Let's pause it real quick. It's, it's going back to the base station. Let's see. There's how dirty the mop pads are. So we'll see how well it cleans it. Okay, so it's backing up, and again, it's gonna it's gonna wash the mop pads and empty out everything in the vacuum. Start charging. Start auto empty. It's not very loud when it auto empties either. Okay. So it's gonna clean the mop pads now. And I'm gonna check it after it's done. It takes about two minutes to clean the mop pads and then we're gonna check it. Yeah, it's not very loud when it's cleaning. About 60, 65. And towards the end, it does spin the mop pads pretty fast. That's probably the loudest point right now. And what you're hearing is it's sucking everything out of that area where it cleaned the mop pads. Okay, so it says it's dehydrating the mop pad. That is a very small f fan that's blowing hot air onto the, the mop pads to clean it. Now, it's, it's not very loud at all. And you can program that from two to four hours. Let's try to get that. Yeah, maybe 47. Okay, let's tell the robot to, to come out of the base. I like that feature. Now we can check it. Okay, there's that area. It's a little dirty. Once in a while, we do have to clean that out. You know, it did a pretty good job cleaning the mop pads. Now tell it to go home. Okay, so let's go and clean some carpet with it. I'm gonna do some, some one room. Start selected room cleaning. All right, it's not washing the mop pad, I guess, since it's gonna just do carpet. Okay, so it's vacuuming. Let's get the decibels. About 85. The mop pads are lifted. It's probably best if you undock it, take the mop pads off, and then just have it vacuum. It only lifts them seven millimeters high. Okay, so we're gonna see how it does on the iPhone cable. We got some fake poop there. And we got a bunch of dog hair and confetti on the floor. It's gonna go around and do the perimeter of the room first. Now, it didn't sense that cable. Okay, so there's how it's doing on the little crumbs and everything. Yeah, I think it's doing a pretty good job picking everything up. No, it didn't get that, it didn't see that small one. Now it does. It just kind of depends where it catches it. If it's on the side, but if it hits it straight on, then it kind of sees it. Yeah, but it's doing a pretty good job of vacuuming. It's got a little bit left to do, but. Okay, so let's pause it. Let's see exactly how much it picked up. Yeah, it got quite a bit of that stuff in the small stuff. So it does a pretty good job vacuuming. Now here's the map. It did recognize that power cord. And it took a picture of that power cord, so that's kind of neat. And it ultimately did recognize that pet waste. Nope. I guess it didn't, I thought it did right there. I think Miss Fiona doesn't mind it. Pick it up your mess. All right, let's go see how loud it is when it self empties. There, and it's docking itself. It turns the rollers on a little bit when it's docking itself. Sometimes it does that, it just kind of reaffirms itself. 
charging. Start auto empty. That's 72. Okay, so in the DreamBot L10S app, you may be getting some notifications that it's time to do the maintenance. And we can go in here and see these. Click on the three little dots here, accessory usage. This is where it's, it tells you when it's time to change the filter, the side brush, the main brush, clean the sensors, the mop pad. After you do the task, you are gonna wanna say you clean and restored it. So that way it sets the time back to 100% on all of these. But again, the dust bag, it doesn't give you a notification and the detergent. When you replace the detergent, said tell it to reset the detergent. Okay, one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these tanks. So even the clean water tank needs to be cleaned out once in a while, take it over to the sink, clean it out, and then fill it up with fresh water. And the dirty water tank also, you'll get some sediment in the bottom of there, kind of some dirt and stuff. So take this over to the sink, get it all nice and clean. And there's where your detergent goes when it's ready. So that's the first thing we're doing. Now we're gonna clean the base where it cleans the, um, the mopping pads. So you're briefly gonna press this home button. That's gonna tell the robot to undock itself. Sometimes you just have to wake it up and then press. Leaving the base station. So it's gonna come out here and park so that we can do some maintenance down there cleaning. Now you can take this all the way out and take it over the sink and get it nice and clean. But once in a while, all you have to do is press and hold this home button and it's gonna put some water down there. So it's filling that up with water. So that's the amount, it puts a bunch of water down here. Get this, you can get this all nice and clean and then it's gonna suck the water out. It gives you a little bit of time to clean everything and then it's gonna suck it all out. So you can get this all nice and clean. Okay, so when you're done cleaning, it doesn't automatically suck that water out. You gotta press this again. Now it's sucking the water out. Now I can let go of that button and it'll stop automatically. And again, I can take this out take it over the sink, get it clean, make sure this is nice and dry, and then put this back. Now we're gonna press and hold the power button to turn the robot off, because we gotta do the maintenance on the robot. So that means it's turning off. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is the filter. So open this up, open this up. Now the filter, grab it right here and it comes off. Now, I blow mine out with a little air gun once in a while, and about every third time, I'll rinse this out. You can take this over the sink, get it all nice and clean, and then let it dry overnight. Now, there is another filter in here sometimes you gotta clean. Open the side door here like this, and you can see sometimes there is some stuff on there. I can even take this to the sink, get this all cleaned up, but make sure it's nice and dry. When you're done, put the filter back in like this, snap it in, it's got a nice O-ring right here, then it sits down in here, oh, the angle goes forward, and make sure it snaps into place and then close this. Around back, there's a couple sensors. Make sure this is all nice and clean. On the front, make sure the bumper, nothing gets got stuck down in here, the bumper's free. Wipe these lenses off right here. Make sure there's nothing up here on top. Now we're gonna flip it over. There's our mop pads. Now you can take these off and then put these in your washing machine and clean them once in a while. But once in a while, you are gonna have to replace them. They're very simple to replace. They just Velcro right on there. Sometimes you do have to wipe this area off too. It can get kind of dirty. Now we've got these sensors here. These are just little glass windows. You're just gonna wipe those off, make sure nothing's in there. Once in a while, you do have to change out this, this side brush. You're simply gonna lift straight up and then the new one will just pop on there. Now let's do the main brush. Pinch these two tabs right here. This comes off, lift this up. You may get some hair on there. In the, the brush, don't forget, it has a tool that you can cut those hairs with. Make sure there's, see we're already getting some hair wrap around the edges here. Get all that hair off, yeah, even right there. So it's very important to get this stuff off. Now it's got a square side. You're gonna put the square side in front and you can kind of wipe this off too here. 
put the square side in first. Kind of find, yep. It goes in. This lays flat. There's a little arrow to kind of point and tell you. Now it's very important to get these in first. And you can rinse this off too, get this all nice and clean. But put those in, push that in till it snaps, give it a lift, make sure it's all nice and clean. That roller, there's no hair wrap, and there's no hair wrap on these rollers here. This is where everything gets sucked out, so just make sure this is nice and clean. You can kind of look in there, then make sure it's kind of just flush like that. So we've done all the maintenance. Make sure you go in and reset all of the maintenance tests. Okay, so now let's dock it. That should turn it on when you dock it. And it did play a tune to let me know that it turned itself back on. Okay, so let me start off by saying I bought this with my own money. I paid $700 for it now. I also have a scoring system that I use. I got some, I'll show you this at the end, how I rated each one. Out of 100 possible points, it got 83, which is a B. Now, that this has some limitations. The main limitation, there's two. It's avoidance. Does it avoid pet waste every single time? No. If this was mainly for hardwood floors, I think it would do a pretty good job. I think on carpet, it gets a little confused with avoiding. Now, it's not going to avoid low cables and stuff. Um, and it's suction power and it's cleaning ability. It's not typically the best. So let me just go down with what I don't like about it. Suction was a little weak on carpet. There is no cord storage. I thought the base unit, having that cord stick out and super long and there's really no place to put it. That's just a little nitpicky there. Battery life on this one is not, it's okay. There are some that are better, but then you get, it gets more expensive with all of that. And it did not sense the cable low to the ground. So what did I like about this? The undock button. I love when the base station has an undock button. You can press the undock button. It moves itself out. You can do your cleaning. You can work on the robot and then put it back. That's, that's really important to me. I thought its cleaning pattern is very efficient. It, it, way, the way it moves along, along the floor, um, it doesn't waste a lot of energy and it does a really good job of, with the pattern. It avoids poop um, sometimes and it take, I like that it takes pictures. Now you can turn that off if you don't want it to take pictures. It, they say they just keep it local and they don't send it up in the cloud or anything, but you can turn that off. But I like it taking pictures because it shows me where the obstacle was. Then I can say, oh, maybe I need to put a no-go zone there. It doesn't do the no-go zone for you, but at least you can go back and put one there. It does have that remote camera. That is super neat. Uh, and you can take a little video. That's pretty neat on these things, being able to tell this robot to go anywhere in your house, take a picture, take a video. You know, you can see what's going on. Did I leave the stove on? Did I leave something? This That's a pretty cool feature. It's quiet when it's vacuuming and when the space unit is emptying and the maintenance is super easy. So they've really got this figured out. And I like that there was a bigger filter on this, this one. Um, they just have the maintenance, it's simple. I like simple maintenance. It's not super hard to work on anything on this. Okay, uh, anything special? I like that it adds a little bit of water to the base station. Uh, and then you can clean the base station and then it sucks it out. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so one thing of note. I did find this thing once in a while mopping my carpeted floors. In the app, I think on this one it is super important to label where your carpet is and where your uh, hardwood floor linoleum is. Now, on, on other Dreams and other robots, I don't get too picky on uh, labeling all that. It just kind of senses it and avoids doing that area. This one, I did find it mopping where the mop pads were spinning on my carpet. Now, I attribute that, that might be my fault a little bit because originally I told a certain area was linoleum, but, but then I thought I changed it. But then when I went back in and told it specifically, there's a spot where you can add carpet tell the tell the map where your carpet is and then it, it avoided it you know this one it's price point with this one they have an l10 ultra or l20 ultra that i love it drops the mop pads off it's just a really nice robot that does a lot of avoidance with uh, cables and poop and everything so but it is about $1,200. So you're, you're getting a little bit of a trade-off for $700. I thought this does a decent job. It, I did find it going back to the dock, recharging, picking back up again later. So with that said, you know, some of the things, 
you know, the mopping, I wish the, I wish the mopping was just a little bit better. I, I'm not sure why it's, that was a pretty tough dog paw mud. I've got some clay mud that I put on the ground and it had dried. And for normal mopping of your room, it's gonna do a great job. It's gonna make it shiny, look nice. But if you've got an actual dog print that's kind of dried on there really thick, it may not get it off. Now it got some of those lighter dog prints off just fine. So hoping it would clean a little bit better. I, I'm gonna really test that when I do comparisons. So the I'm gonna compare this to the Roborock Q Revo. That's right in this price length range. Um, there's also the um, e Echo Vax. Uh, I think it's the E10 or something. I've got it. I'm gonna compare it with it and see how well it does. So look for all of my comparisons coming really soon. Um, I buy these with my own money so that I can tell you, would I spend $700 on this? Yes. If I didn't have a lot of if my dog wasn't making a bunch of messes around the house, this would be an excellent vacuum cleaner. If he's leaving a bunch of messes around the house, you're gonna wanna spend a little bit more money because when these things run over dog mess, a dog poop or something, it is a mess that gets inside the robot. It's extremely hard to clean. You're gonna wish you would have upgraded just a little bit more for that, that really true avoidance. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. Underneath this video, You'll see a see more where there's a description of the video in there you'll see links to this you can purchase this off amazon i am i am an amazon affiliate if you click on the link the product doesn't cost you anymore but i do get a small commission from the sale it is a way of supporting my channel check me out over on instagram uh, look for just a dead videos i do free giveaways there and on my facebook group page so again really appreciate everybody's support um, if there's something you would like to see me review in these robot vacuum cleaners leave it in the comments down below or if there's one you'd like to see me review I did buy the Eufy 10, I think it's the X10 or something, brand new, just released. It's, it's February 2024 20, right now. There's a bunch of robot vacuum cleaners come out and they're expensive. So I just got the brand new Eufy um, and I will be doing it because it looks pretty cool with the base station and cleaning and all that. So really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, thanks so much for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the grading on the L10S Ultra. You know, it, it, down here in the maintenance and all that, it did really good. You know, it's just the avoidance. It doesn't, it only lifts the mop pad seven millimeters, so that's not super high. And the mopping of it was just okay. 